I'm gonna have to miss you all over again. Descendants 3 definitely proved how much of an awesome actress you are, Dove Cameron. We were stunned by your amazing acting abilities. You are definitely getting the world's attention. We are all capable of good and bad. And you just hit 30 million followers on Instagram. You are doing really well for someone so young. And you deserve every bit of the money you're worth. But we were surprised to learn that you weren't the richest person from the Descendants <gasps> franchise. No! The cast of Descendants 3 is living their best life and getting paid handsomely for it. But you'll be surprised at which star is actually the richest. Keep watching to find out. Jedediah Goodacre Jedediah Goodacre plays none other than Chad Charming, but he has a pretty impressive acting resume. He was on a few episodes of The 100 and has recently appeared on The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Back for one night only, the daughter of Herod, the harlot queen of history. He was also in the Disney movie Tomorrowland, and he was one of the few cast members to appear in all three Descendants movies. First off, great new look. But when it comes to money, Jedediah is worth the least. He comes in at number 10 with a net worth of about $200,000. Sarah Jeffrey Next up is the queen of mean herself. Sarah Jeffrey plays Audrey, the daughter of Sleeping Beauty. Oh, my mom's Aurora. She was such a great villain in Descendants 3. Playing Audrey really launched her into success. She starred in a series called Shades of Blue, and now she is on the reboot of Charmed. I'm sorry, I have to go. Maggie? Her official salary hasn't been disclosed, but estimates put her net worth at around half a million dollars. We're sure that number will just continue to increase now that she is a rising star. Thomas Doherty He might play the son of a pirate, but Thomas Doherty has come by his wealth honestly. Descendants 2 was Thomas's first major role, but since then he has appeared in a bunch of episodes of The Lodge. You pick a weird time to get jealous. Now that his time as Harry Hook is over, he has two television shows in the works. Look for him in Catherine the Great and High Fidelity. Thomas's net worth is currently sitting pretty at $1 million. He's definitely doing well. Mitchell Hope King Ben might be worth a lot more than his actor Mitchell Hope. Mitchell has a lot in common with his co-star Thomas Doherty. I said Phil will be the king now, eh? Starring in Descendants was his first major role, and he is also worth one million dollars. He is estimated to make between two thousand and thirty-five hundred dollars per Instagram post. Wow, we want to make that much for posting on social media. We are excited to see him in his upcoming Christmas movie, Let It Snow. China and McLean. We love how China and McLean portrayed Uma in Descendants 3, and we are so excited to see more awesome things from her. I bet you lost some sleep thinking about me on the loose, huh? China Ann became famous for starring on Disney Channel's Ant Farm, but she has also been in lots of other things. She was in Grown Ups and its sequel. She starred in the Tyler Perry show House of Pain, and recently she has been in the TV series Black Lightning. What's happened? China Ann is one busy girl. Her net worth is $2 million. Brenna D'Amico Jane really grew up throughout the Descendants movies, and Brenna D'Amico did a great job playing her. Sorry, I'll see you later. Yeah. Acting in Descendants franchise was Brenna's very first role, but since then she has appeared in several new things. She starred in a couple of short TV series for Brat Productions. Nothing's wrong. Why? And she's set to appear in three upcoming movies, including Adventures of Dally and Spanky. Brenna's net worth is estimated at around $2 million. Dove Cameron You might be surprised that Mal herself is not the richest of the Descendants 3 cast. I know that, and I'll do better. Dove Cameron is worth $3 million. She is best known for Descendants and her time on Disney Channel's Liv and Maddie. She's also a Marvel star. She voiced Gwen Stacy in Marvel Rising Initiation. All's fine and dandy in Gwenlandia. And she also played Ruby on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She also starred opposite Jennifer Aniston in Dumplin'. We can't wait to see what she does next. Boo Boo Stewart Before he played Jay in Descendants, Boo Boo Stewart was well known for another popular movie franchise. He played Seth Clearwater, a young werewolf in the Twilight movies. Newest, bestest, brightest, and slowest. Boo Boo has acted in a lot of things. Sometimes they are small roles and other times they are pretty big. That's why he is worth a whopping $4 million. That's pretty awesome for someone so young. He turned 25 in 2019. Boo Boo has been really busy. He has one TV show and 11 movies coming out in the next couple of years. Cheyenne Jackson 
Cheyenne Jackson stole our hearts as the coolest villain and best descendant's dad, Hades. Am I invited to the wedding? Cheyenne has been around the acting scene for a while. He is most famous as a Broadway star and has played lots of famous roles on stage. He also appeared on American Horror Story for a handful of seasons. Any last words? In 2018, he appeared on the TV show American Woman. He has also guest starred on shows like Glee and 30 Rock. Cheyenne is worth $5 million. Sophia Carson It might surprise you that Sophia Carson is actually the wealthiest cast member from Descendants 3. She could probably buy a starter castle, just like Evie. Before she played the most stylish BK, Okay, so I've only done about a thousand sketches of your wedding dress. Evie guest starred on Austin and Allie. She also had several music videos. Sophia is an Instagram influencer. She is also starring as Ava on Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionist. Leave me and my friends alone and just let this go. She is currently filming a movie called Feel the Beat. Sophia's net worth is currently $6 million. Which star did you think would have the biggest net worth? Tell us in the comments! Thanks for watching! Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to The Things. We'll catch you next time!